Hey folks, and welcome to Frugal Radio. My question today is all about the AirSpy ULUP. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's a $35 passive loop antenna. Right now you can buy a few different loop antennas, but those are magnetic loop antennas, the MLA30 and one by Cross Country Wireless. I wondered if I should buy one of those active antennas, but in the end I decided if AirSpy are selling a passive loop antenna, then it can't be all that bad. Let's face it, every product I've ever owned from AirSpy gets the thumbs up from me. So what about this HF passive loop? Will it also get the thumbs up? That's the question. Join me as we find out, is the $35 AirSpy U-Loop antenna going to enable me to do some HF monitoring from home? Salmon forecast. Salmon valid from the 16th at 1800 until the 17th at 1800. Wind 260 degrees 8 knots. Visibility 10 kilometers or more. Cloud ceiling broken at 3000 feet. Tempo from 0200 until 0900. Light rain. Cloud, ceiling broken at 1,200 feet. At I got here into FCVX 101 uh, with companion of, of, of amplifier 
uh, 1.2 kilowatt. At, at the moment I'm using the 600 watts. And uh, yeah, at the end uh, what I got is a dynamic microphone. So, as I said, conditions are not very well because I'm living just next to the sea. Uh, my level uh, above the sea is, is next to zero. Uh, yeah, it's maybe 20 meters. And, and my antenna is just 12 meters above the ground. And it's just 12 meters long. Yeah, that's it. Uh, back to you. Delta Papa 70, Delta Alpha Romo, Charlie, Mike 7, Lima, you from Kilo. Yeah, thanks for the information. I just uh, looked at your picture at Google.com and uh, indeed uh, you are quite uh, <laughs> close to surrounded by neighbors. My personal call, if you would. Mattel, you, you could. And we this is a special call for our special activity. So that's it. Uh, thank you very much for the for the course over and wish you all the best. Uh, stay well, stay home, uh, enjoy our hobby and stay healthy. That's the most important. Uh, back to you to call the final, please. Uh, uh, Mike 7, Lima, Uniform Kilo, Delta Papa 7, Zero, Delta Alpha, Romeo, Charlie. Delta Papa 7, Zero, Delta Alpha, Romeo, Charlie. Uh, 100% clear as well. I, I should say, sorry, uh, your signal is, is still pretty strong. It's, it's still standing. Yeah. Uh, Sean is in uh, West Sussex, Kevin. Uh, did you uh, get any copy at all on 2E0XBT? Over. <laughs> very well said. Very well said. Okay, uh, there's uh, there's a, I, I, there's one more uh, that I know of that's uh, that's possibly uh, uh, setting up his eye pole. So hold on. Uh, off Strangle Five Kilo Kilo Papa Kraus, are you on frequency? Over. Broken. 
1,500 overtime. The economy, the economy, from 210 degrees, visibility 10 kilometers or more. No cloud detected. Temperature, one niner, dew point five, CNH, one zero two four, low shit. London Gatwick, Metroport, London Gatwick, at one zero two zero Zulu, wind two four zero degrees, eight knots. Wind varying between two zero zero degrees and two seven zero degrees, tab okay. Temperature, one niner, dew point six. CNH 1024. Tatlovic Metroport. Tatlovic at 1030 Zulu. Wind 030 degrees 6 knots. Wind varying between 360 degrees and 060 degrees. Tab OK. Temperature 7. Dew point minus 1. CNH 1015. Countries most affected have been Great Britain with 33,000 dead, Italy with more than 31,000, France and Spain with approximately 27,000. <laughs> Well, there you have it folks, that's my review of the AirSpy Yulub Antenna. I would say there's some things that I really like about it. I love the fact that it is a passive antenna. This is quite a noisy environment in my house. There's at least 15 switch mode power supplies. We have a VDSL feed coming into the house providing the internet. There are four laptops, there's a desktop computer, there's at least four monitors running, plus all the entertainment equipment. So it's really good that the U, U loop is passive because it's not just amplifying all of the noise that's generated by those various devices. I think had I purchased the, the, one of the magnetic loops that's inactive, such as the MLA30 or the Cross Country Wireless, I think I would have amplified a lot of that noise and then would have had to start a process of eliminating that noise. So that would have involved RF chokes or inline transformers, that kind of thing. I haven't had to do any of that with the passive ULOOP antenna. So that is a real bonus point. Now, on the downsides, the um, the crossover component at the top of the U-loop did come apart on me when I was moving the antenna. Now, I wasn't being particularly rough with the antenna. I had unscrewed one end and the thing just came apart. So there's a photograph of it that you can see here. Now, would I consider it to be a DXing antenna? The answer to that is going to be no. While I've been able to pick up signals from quite far away, you know, HF is wonderful for that and this antenna has really helped with that, I would say that there's not a lot of wire there. So is it gonna to compare to a nice full-size HF antenna of one of the many designs that exist? No, it's, it's not gonna be able to compare with a big antenna like that in a noise-free or relatively noise-free environment. Overall though, I'm gonna give the AirSpy Eula my thumbs up. It is working for me and I am very pleased that I have purchased it. Now, if this video has helped you and you like the content, then please let me know by making a comment or if you have any questions about the test that I did, please do comment in the comment section below. And if you want to help this channel out, then like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Frugal Radio.